Well, and good afternoon, my friends. We are back again for another installment in the Hardanger Book of Knowledge. So today, we're going to talk about a dove's eye. Uh, a pico, <laughs> not a dove's eye. We did that, yes, the other day. Uh, we're going to do a pico today. So, as you see, I kind of already started wrapping this bar so that I can get a little bit ahead here. Um, again, if you're not remembering how to anchor your thread and wrap bars, you need to go back and watch previous videos uh, where it was all demonstrated in there. So it is helpful if you have watched those videos before you watch these. So to do a pico, and the pico essentially is like putting a little French knot on your bar as you're wrapping. And I'm going to put the pico on this side of the bar. So it would be the side that, not in the middle, but this side here. So I'm going to wrap the bar. And this is done on each individual bar. So I'm going to wrap it halfway. Now, again, some people wrap differently than I do. I go down in the middle and up on the sides. Down in the middle, up on the side. And now, this one, I'm going to go down in the middle. And to do the pico, I'm going to go back down in the middle and come out where I did the previous wrap. Now, I'm not going to pull my needle all the way through. I'm going to let it just as you see it here. I'm going to put my thumb on that. And I'm going to take this working thread and I'm going to wrap it around the needle twice. And then I'm going to pull it back under my thumb. Okay. Now, what I usually do is move my thumb up a bit to be on top of this. All right. So then I'm going to pull the needle through and hope the thread doesn't get caught. Okay. And I'm going to pull it just so that it makes a little, not tight, but just so that you can see a little bit of a knot. Okay. And then I'm going to go back down in the center, out the other side. And again, I'm going to use my thumb. And I'm just going to tug this till it pops right up. See that? There's your pico. Now, I'm going to continue to wrap my bar to the end. Okay, now I'm not going to pull overly tight here because I don't want to pull this into into the bar. I want it to stay where it is. And if you want a bigger opening, you can take your needle and go in there and just pull that open a little bit more so that you get a nice little hole <laughs> in the middle. Okay? And you're going to continue wrapping. Go down here. And again, you want to wrap so that you fill your bars, but you don't want to overfill them. So I'm just going to do one more there. And then I'm going to sneak around to this one. And you take notice, it helps that I continually turn my work so that the bar I'm working on is the closest bar to me. But you see how that made such a nice little, nice little loop there? Okay, we're going to try it again. So, we're going to wrap halfway. Okay. So, as you notice, I'm always going down in the middle. There are people that wrap the opposite of me, that they come up in the middle. I find that my picots are easier to do 
when I wrap this way, when I wrap going down in the middle. Okay, so down, down in the middle, and come up. So now I want to do a pico once again. So I'm going to go down in the middle and come up on that same side. Oops, back that up. I'm going to go down in the middle, <laughs> come up on that same side, and not pull my needle through. I'm going to hold the needle. I'm going to go under, up around, under, up around. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to pull my needle through. Now. My hand's not quite long enough to reach this one. I'm going to get a little bit. I think I wrapped it too many times. Okay. I'm going to go back this way. Yeah. This is where your thumb comes in handy. Okay, let me pause to undo this. Oh, it won't let me pause. Sorry. <laughs> Can't pause. Okay. There we go. There we go. So, see, you make a mistake, it can be undone. Okay, so let's do this again. Let me move the hoop a little bit this way so I can reach what I'm doing better. Here we go. All right, so we're going to go under. See, everyone makes... A little bit of mistakes every now and again so we're going to go under leave our needle we're going to wrap under over under pull the thread to the back hold it with your thumb pull your needle through until you get that little that little knot put your needle back through this way and again, use your thumb. There we go. There we go. And then you can put your needle in there and pull that little loop out just nice. And continue wrapping. Sorry, I tend to I'm going to pull it closer to me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to the third bar. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap half the bar. Now, I'm not going to say you make perfect little picots every time, but I have, doing it this way, I have had very good luck. Some people may teach you a different way, but this is how I learned, and uh, this is what I know works for me. And again, I'm going to move my hoop so this is a little closer. And do you see the difference in when I use the hoop to wrap the bars? They're a bit neater than when I just hold it in my hand. So, gonna come back the way we were. All right, you're gonna go under, around, under again, and pull it. Hold it with your thumb. Pull your needle through. I hold that with my thumb. 
go down in the center pull it through and there you go another wonderful little loop finish wrapping your bar and then we have one more to do and I'm going to give you a little bit of a bonus with this one okay so the I the the purpose of this video was to teach you how to do a pico and hopefully you have seen how to effectively do that by now so the little bit of a bonus is on this fourth bar can you take a guess what we're going to do first we're going to wrap half the bar. Okay. Now, we're going to make a pico again. Okay, so we're going to over, uh, under, over, under, hold it to the back, use your thumb, pull the thread through, get your little, little knot here, come back to this side, and pull that up, and pull up your little, your little, um, oh, there we go your little loop and you can stick your needle in there and make that bigger if you so desire. Now before we wrap the rest of the bar we're going to add a dove's eye. So hopefully you watched the dove's eye video earlier. So we're going to lay it across go down in the center like just below our pico come up on top of the thread and pull okay now you can either turn or not turn it whatever you're comfortable with but you want to go across the center with your thread go down in the center of the bar come up on top of the working thread and pull now here I have to turn because I'm going to go across the center down underneath the pico on top of the working thread and pull and last but not least I'm going to go underneath the first stitch and come back up and finish wrapping my bar. So now you have incorporated picots and dove's eyes together. You can use them separately, you can use them individually, or you can use them like this together and then you would just end your thread as we normally have ended our thread so there you have picots and dove's eye on one motif and like i said if you want these loops to be a little more accentuated you just stick your needle down in them and pull them out a little bit. I tend to not do that, but again, it's up to you. It depends on how prominent you want them to be. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new, and I look forward to seeing you in the next 
video of this series. Have a great day and I will see you next time.